It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged. And in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Okay, you guys. So I've heard about this last night, but I wanted to sit on it. And I still want to sit on it. But I'm going to bring the video to you all what's creating all of this dysfunction and chaos behind the scenes all this confusion not necessarily with the millimeters but just in general this is what everybody is talking about so i'm going to bring the live here on my channel so you guys can hear it i'm going to try to spill out my thoughts this first three minutes of the video and let you guys hear it and then we're going to make videos you know maybe tomorrow the day after that on ways we can work around this or get around this if this is in fact what these people are trying to do with the show first of all shout out to money making melody fan page because y'all know that's one of my favorite melody fan pages okay i like all the melody sheree fan pages because that's what we do over here melometers we support all the melometers but money making melody she just seem like more my vibe okay i don't know there's some fire behind that page as far as the research the extent in which she's willing to go to do the research and make sure she cross her i's and dot her t's is what i thoroughly enjoy and on top of that she ain't scared <laughs> And I, I like I, anybody that ain't scared, I rock it with. With that being said, before we get into this video, y'all know Mel still have her 30% off sale going on right now for 7th Avenue. I'm going to reorder some 7th Avenue products, even though I'm scared because that post office lady stole my package. I'm so scared. But we're going to order some of stuff and then I'm going to let y'all know what's going on, what I like. I'm actually waiting for her to drop her new scrubs before I order some more stuff. That's why I haven't taken advantage of this deal yet. But I don't know. I might just go ahead and grab something since it's 30% off and then double back when she dropped the scrubs. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it. With When I do Melody orders, you know, I get what I need at the time and then, you know, I push back if I need to. I don't typically always order when it sells. I've actually only ordered one time. Y'all know that. I be stealing my mama products. <laughs> and now I'm forced to be an adult. So now I got to buy my own stuff. And y'all know the first time I've made my own, my purchase, my order, the damn post office lady stole my package. I'm literally traumatized. Okay, but listen, I digress. Because y'all know I was literally going to rant about that all day. And that's literally not what we hear. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. But basically, in this live video, there is someone that has always joined Melody Lives that has always seemingly been or a friend to Mel. And all of a sudden, it seems as though this person is going against Mel or she's telling one of Walkie Talkie Tales. And we all know anybody that appears to be male friend or pro male somehow, some way get convinced by the ops that she is a devil's in sheep clothing. And so, so now we it's all this chaos and confusion and it seems as though the melometers and male camp isn't situated or it seems like she always falling out with people when in reality people are always trying to outsource and convince and reel in and pull in thirsty people if you thirsty and you weak you get drug in that's just what it is now, i don't know this lady and i'm not saying she thirsty and she weak so please don't come for me please stay stay where you at all right i'm reporting the news it's the shit you put out here and this is just what we want to talk about today it seems as though this lady is under the impression that slarion is gonna be on the show this person also allude to walkie talkie dating around and that being his main storyline this person also alluded to um male being the main person that's holding him back or probably going to walk away from the show or don't want this to happen in duh like i'm trying to understand what the hell don't y'all understand about a stalking ass abusive ex-husband that had then tried to put out revenge pee on you? Don't y'all hoes understand? And I'm not calling the person that made this live a hoe, so please do not take it like that. I'm saying hoes as in the people that agree with Walkie Talkie and Slarion coming on the show for a storyline. I'm saying y'all hoes. So if you just so happen to be one of those people, then I'm talking about you. But what makes y'all think that that is 
is an appropriate thing to do, to reward two people that are constantly showing us abusive tendencies. They're harassing, stalking, and outright doing evil, wicked things. This is the shit that be pissing me off. I'm telling you, this is why, this is really why I cannot... I don't even know. See, I'm a Love and Mary Chantzville super fan, right? But then once I kind of saw the storyline play out, I just really fell in love with Mel because her resilience and her strength as a woman. But that don't goddamn mean that everybody can just use her as a punk- punching bag or I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like people are genuinely intimidated and threatened by black women being successful, healthy, wealthy, living their lives, setting boundaries, doing what they want because they're so used to black women muling. So whenever a black woman stands 10 toes down in her confidence, boundaries, respect, like there's always this half and half. There's always a half amount of the people in the community that will full-fledged support her and then there's always another half that are just outright sick I don't know but anybody that can genuinely be like look at walkie talkie and still want him on their tv screen is absolutely ridiculous and another reason I don't really like talking about these things on YouTube is because it seemed like anytime there's a big reveal of something that is going on behind the scenes like now you know YouTubers are beefing and this is like no tea no shade because I don't want no problems all right do not come for me but like it is really time to stay focused is why is it that it's almost like once everything was revealed about walkie talkie everybody went on you know they tangents they said what they had to say it was some beef or whatever and then nobody else really stayed on top of what it is that we were supposed to be doing which is in my opinion what carlos king was banking on so now you know they pop out trying to like i guess get under male skin at the wedding or whatnot all the bloggers talk about it so i'm assuming because all the bloggers continue to talk about these two a-holes and myself included this is why walkie talkie would feel like he has the grounds to push for this broad to be on the show. So I'm back here thinking about, you know, some stuff that I have to do as a content creator that is pro male. Like that's just me. I'm, I'm pro male for show. And I don't want to see slurring on, on the show. So I don't know. I, I just went on my tangent that actually ended up being eight minutes and I didn't want it to be. And I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all go ahead and watch this live. Get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about it. I'm gonna come back with a different video and dissect this a little bit further. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell. So you are up to date each and every time that I upload. I listen to gospel. I listen to a little bit of everything. Okay. So what we're going to get into today. This is going to be a live prophecy. It's going to be pertaining to love and marriage Huntsville. I have been a consultant, um, religious, spiritual consultant, business consultant, personal consultant, strategist on all of those things for a couple of the people on there. Okay. Um, so let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going on. First of all, there's going to be someone that injures their leg. It's going to be a male on there that's going to have a, um, you know, a pretty bad leg injury. Not saying that, you know, that's going to stop them from being on the show, but it will be a leg injury. Um, someone is going to be going to court based on, and, and, and guys, I want you to understand that um, my prophecies are past, present, and future. Sometimes people have an idea of when things are supposed to happen. Um, time is timeless. Okay, so take out of your mind an idea of when these things are supposed to happen in your mind um, and just know that they will happen. They will manifest. So like I was saying, there's going to be a male on the show that has a leg injury and they may end up having to have surgery. There are going to be um, upcoming conversations pertaining to finances and money with people on the show. They're going to be like if they're going to renew or they're going to be moving forward um, in any other financial pursuits pertaining to the show is going to be a situation where they are going to really be holding the money from them or playing hardball with them about what they can and cannot do moving forward. So, again, like I was telling um, people that do blogs and people that are commentating on the show, please do not, you know, get in the habit now of retraining your algorithm because I do strongly feel like they're going to be stopping them from having certain relationships with um, YouTubers, bloggers, bloggers, things like that. So, I want to say around, I really want to say around mid-July, 
and also going into October is going to be a whole lot of um, changes that are going to be taking place. And I'm going to be honest with you. There's going to be conversation about Destiny coming back to the show. There's going to be conversation about her coming back to the show. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw her sooner than later. They definitely want to develop the show from a financial perspective because they're going to be saying that they're having some financial issues or financial problems. Um, you guys definitely will be hearing about the possibility of lawsuits. Um, pertaining to the cast and how they feel like they are being portrayed by by the network or by the show and that's going to be um, of conversation I'm not going to give away everything but I'm going to give away some things today okay because we have to have more conversations now honestly there's a lot of stress around the cast because they're being pressured to bring a lot more whether they felt like they brought more to the show when it comes to their personal life arguments disagreements the the pressure is on when it comes to them being in a position where they have to really bring it a lot of disagreements a lot of arguments um and a lot of revelation is going to be taking place now there is a female that is in charge and there is going to be a new dynamic when it comes to one of the main cast members and um Something is going to be coming back towards this person pertaining to their love life. So there is going to be some sort of betrayal from the network to one of the main cast members pertaining to love, love situations, them possibly bringing somebody on the show that they promised that wouldn't be on the show or them bringing somebody onto the cast that they promised wouldn't be on the show um, in a roundabout way. I also feel like they're going to tell this person that their storyline is not evolving. And because their storyline is not evolving and we're not seeing them really put themselves in a position to show who it is that they're in a relationship with, then it's going to be a lot of stress. And then we have to ask ourselves, how many of these relationships are really real that people speak about on social media? Because some people are not really having authentic, genuine relationships. They are playing with the viewership and making people think that they have um, positive relationships. And, though, and that is not the case. However, there will be a betrayal. Um, and there's going to be a lot of communication that's going to be taking place between August and September. Pertaining to this person that they want to bring on or they want to bring bring on to the show or, or start segueing them into the show and if they and if they don't have them on the show there's going to be some sort of spinoff or an extension of the show this is going to be a flat out betrayal that the viewership are going to be looking at and they're not they may not necessarily um like that but they are going to watch with their hand over their eye you know how you know when you have your hand over your eye and then you look out the corner of your hand your mom used to be like don't don't look at that turn that off but then you're still looking at it right so it will it, it will be something that people are going to be interested in seeing but it's going to be considered outrage marketing okay so this person right now is making a decision in whether they want to be a part of the show or they want to be a part of the um of the network because another male cast member is is definitely um having conversations and meetings and really softening up to the idea of doing things a different way so there will be a new beginning in the show and I do believe, again, the month of July is going to be very important. So pay attention to the cast members. Um, but the show still doesn't hold the same value that it once held. There's going to be a new beginning. There has to be a new beginning, but it doesn't still hold the value. Um, you know, it has depreciated with value, right? So with that being said, that's going to give them more room to barter and to try to make fetch happen, right? So whoever you would consider the star of the show, this person definitely, um, they're going to try to make it seem like this person is not of, they're not valuable anymore to the show. So whoever you consider the star of the show, and they are going to be making a lot of changes and we're going to start seeing that. Because, you know, when, when, when stuff happens during the reunion and, you know, when people are talking and there's an uproar in between the end of the show and the reunion, you're going to start to see less of whoever you would consider the star of the show. Now, this, th this person, this woman, that they're trying to build a life around, a storyline around, build something around, um, and there's some independent filming that's happening. 
and make no mistake about it the other women in this male's life they they feel like okay instead of me trying to beat them let me go ahead and join them let all of us find a way to get a coin let all of us find a way to make some money out of this situation let's just not let this situation go because of ego you know so it's really giving polyamorous <laughs> <laughs> it's really giving polyamorous listen friend <laughs> it's giving polyamorous it's like okay can't beat them join them right um and this new beginning has already taken place and it's already happened so as far as the financial aspect of this situation this male is going to for sure pip their self out and they're going to make it seem like they haven't found the one that they're looking for so let me go ahead and, and play this game you know, and make it seem like I haven't found the one that I'm looking for, but I'm trying to, you know, co-parent, be cordial while I'm trying to look for the person that I'm supposed to be with. But then they may also blame the lack of co-parenting on why they may not necessarily. Um, that's what their storyline is going to be, the lack of co-parenting. And right now what they're saying to the network, they're saying, listen, I'm ready to go in a new direction. And there's the one that's stopping them from doing so. This person wants more clarity pertaining to their logic. OK, there is going to be more issues pertaining to the star of the show and the child's father. Um, but I definitely feel like one of them are going to walk away. For sure. One of them are no longer going to be in this situation because going into the reunion, there's going to be a change in perspective, a change in how things are being done. And it's going to be like it's not even worth the power struggle. And this has everything to do with love, love situations and where both of their love lives are both of their love lives are going i think that the male star of the show i feel like the male star of the show is going to try to barter something in this situation like it's just going to be a tug of war and they're going to say okay listen i want to be able to try to talk to date and have multiple storylines with multiple women and there's somebody here who's not going to be open to that however there will be some sort of celebration for a female that's around the male star of the show. Even though there's going to be a lot of discord and, and arguments, it will have everything to do with this man reaching a higher level of financial abundance. So this person is willing to sell their soul, their life story, and have arguments for them to make money. This person has a lot of emotional issues and a lot of emotional problems. And they are going to be very, you know, they're going to be feeling suicidal and they may say that, you know, they may be, they may be in victimhood. And they may say things about them being suicidal or they need to talk to someone. They're going through a lot emotionally, stuff like that. But they're going to try to hold on to this situation while they're moving on. I do really feel like in the next six months, this man is going to really go into hiding as they are working on their achievements and there are for sure going to be court matters and court issues. There's going to be three women associated with these court matters and court issues. And this man is going to move forward. They are going to balance out these three women. He is going to balance out these three women in his life and he's going to make a decision about one of them. But then he's going to go back on his decision. And as far as the show, I do feel like him trying to build his home and put his home um, in a space where he's building it is going to be a part of his storyline. And that's how he will also try to segue one or multiple other women into his storyline. Everything is riding on the building of this house and whether his house is going to be um, in a space or a place to be able to use that for his storyline. So that's what he is. That's what he's focused on. But see, he's trying to do some research and he's trying to get an analysis of some things pertaining to his home. His home is going to be used in, in the perspective of business. I don't honestly feel like this is a home that he's thinking of living in. This is like an investment or an investment property. And he is thinking about how he can make money off of the children pertaining to this situation as well. There's going to be an opportunity for him to do that. But in his heart of hearts he does want to protect them but he wants to also be in control in how they are portrayed as well there's going to be court matters like i said court issues within the next two months and at the end of the day this judge or this person in the court is going to try to definitely get his attention 
He may be running from service or running from um, court matters and court issues because he'll be trying to move forward. There's a lot of things that he's trying to manifest for himself. Um, and then we have the other cast member that has been married to his wife the longest. Yeah. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not it's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not in the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not in the case of anybody.